The impact on the egg industry. Huge fire at an egg farm in eastern Connecticut. We head to Bosman now where crews were on the scene of a massive fire. Today, we're going to be talking about the Bozeman, Connecticut egg farm fire. Hi there. Welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for joining us. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, let's get into it. So at 1 p.m. on Saturday, January 28th, a horrific fire broke out in one of Hillendale Farms 50 foot by 600 foot chicken coops. When firefighters arrived, they said the entire building was engulfed in flames, raging and creating tons of heavy, thick smoke. The smoke could be seen for miles in Bozra. It took 100 firefighters across 16 neighborhood fire departments to contain and put out the fire. All employees were safe and uninjured, and three firefighters had to be treated at the scene. Two for dehydration and one for a laceration. Unfortunately, the 100,000 laying hens in the barn died in the fire. The surrounding barns and hens were not impacted. The farm and fire department don't yet know the cause of the fire, but they will thoroughly investigate it. For now, they believe it to be accidental. While 100,000 hens is a tragic loss of life, consumers shouldn't stress about the fire's impact on current egg prices. Now, will the Bozra, Connecticut egg farm fire impact egg prices? This farm fire should have little to no impact on the availability and price of eggs. In the United States, 100,000 hens can produce 600 to 700,000 eggs per week, but there are 389 million laying hens across the United States. These hens tragically lost in the Hillendale farm fire made up a tiny fraction of the population. The rest of the country's hens should still lay 1,945,000,000 eggs per week. This figure is based on the reported 7,780,000,000 eggs laid in the United States in August of 2022. And globally, the United States is only the fifth largest producer of chicken in the world. In 2021, China had about 5,118,300,000 chickens. That's over 5 billion chickens. Indonesia had 3,478,150,000 chickens. Pakistan had 1,578,000,000 chickens. Brazil had 1,530,000,000 chickens. And the US, obviously, 1,522,000,000 chickens. The Islamic Republic of Iran, India, Mexico, Vietnam, and the Russian Federation raised a collective of 3,441,940,000 chickens. Though it is a devastating loss of life, and we are all deeply sad about it, this fire should not impact the rest of the country. Now, who is the CEO of Hillendale Farms? Kevin Jackson from Carlisle, Pennsylvania is the CEO. He has been with the company for 10 months. Before this position, he was CCO and president of Treehouse Foods for two years. Before that, he was a senior vice president of U.S. retail sales and the North American Away From Home division at the J.M. Smucker Company. The president of Hillendale Farms is Steve Vendemia of Greater Hartford, Connecticut. He's been with the farm for nearly 38 years since April 1985. Now, who owns Hillendale Farms? Hillendale Farms is owned by Austin Jack DeCoster and Peter DeCoster, a father-son operation. Jack DeCoster appears to have a heavy hand in the egg production industry. He owns Hillendale Farms, Wright Co. Egg, also known as DeCoster Family Farms, Quality Egg of New England, also known as Main Contract Farming, and Quality Egg of Iowa. He is also the controlling investor of Ohio Fresh Eggs. He silently paid all but 10,000 of the 67 million used to buy Ohio Fresh. His associate, John Glessner, co-owns Ohio Fresh. He also founded Environ Egg Production LLC in Iowa, which later merged with Wright Egg Company. Just to also bring up some other stuff, Hillendale Farms owner faces many violations. There is a nasty 15 year long slew of violations ranging from environmental, labor, immigration, food safety, and animal welfare laws. Jack's Wright County Egg has found salmonella in its operations dozens of times. Investigators from the CDC and FDA called the facility's conditions deplorable. In two years, it had at least 426 positive cases of salmonella. This was related to the 550 million recalled eggs from Wright County Egg and Hillendale operations. Employees and the FDA said barns were filled with seeping manure, maggots, wild birds, dead chickens, and rodents. Former employees Dina and Robert Arnold 
reported these issues to the USDA, but no action was taken. The Coster's Iowa Mead Mill, which supplied feed to the laying hens, avoided inspection for years because it qualified for an exemption. Farms can produce feed for their own animals without inspection of the feed, by the way. If you want to read more about that, I will link into the description about Austin Jack DeCoster's actions. Just a brief history on Hillendale Farms. Hillendale Farms was founded in 1958 by Orland Bethel in Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania. In 2000, the company had almost 10 million chickens across several states. As of 2022, Hillendale Farms raises 20 million chickens per year, making it one of the top egg producers in the United States. The top five egg producers are Cal Maine Foods, which raises 46.78 million per year, Rose Acre Farms, 27.59 million per year, Hillendale Farms, 20 million, Versova Holdings LLP raises 19.95 million per year, and Daybreak Foods raises $14.48 million per year. A corporate office opened in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, with egg farms across Pennsylvania, Ohio, Maine, Iowa, and Connecticut. The distribution center is in Plum, Pennsylvania. Jack and Peter DeCoster received three-month sentences for their significant roles in the 2010 Salmonella break. It was the largest outbreak and egg recall in the United States then. Five years later, in 2015, a Hillendale farm subsidiary leased three new farms in Maine. These three farms were previously part of the Lando Lakes subsidiary lease. In 2016, the Humane Society of the United States unveiled a shocking video tour of the Hillendale facility in Turner, Maine. Hens were kept in two small and rusted wire cages. This led Margaret O'Neill, Maine representative, to create a proposal in 2020 that would require all egg producers to use cage-free housing. A few months after this proposal, New York Attorney General Letitia James sued Hollandale Farms for price gouging $4 million cartons of eggs. The farms had increased prices by nearly five times during the pandemic. Hillendale Farms donated 1.2 million eggs to New York food banks to settle the lawsuit. The case was dismissed with prejudice. Then in 2021, the Hillendale Farms accountant, Jonathan Weston, was indicted by a federal grand jury for embezzling $6.8 million. We estimate that this private company has about 430,130 employees. Hillendale Farm supplies Hillendale Farm eggs, Hillendale organic eggs, Hillendale cage-free eggs, born-free, free-range organic eggs, Egglands Best Eggs Plus, several liquid and hard-cooked eggs like sugared egg yolks, Fresh Start Whole Egg, Fresh Start Pasteurized Liquid Egg, and Egglands Best Cage-Free Hard-Cooked Peeled Eggs. They also have several Hillendale kinds of cheese in blocks and pre-shredded deli cheese, American pre-sliced cheese, cream cheese, cheese sticks, string cheese, party cheese trays, and several butters. The butter products include Hillendale Farms salted and unsalted butter sticks, Minerva dairy butter, country creamery butter, Amish roll butter, sweet cream butter, grassland butter, do fresh NH margarine, and Hillendale Farms margarine. Lastly, they also sell Hillendale Farms plain and everything bagels. You can read more about Hillendale Farms on their about page. And lastly, how many laying chickens are in the U.S.? Currently, about 389,044,000, nearly 390 million laying hens are in the United States. The United States has 1,522,000,000 total chickens. However, that figure includes meat birds and non-laying hens. That's going to do it for us. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out the next video. I'm going to talk about the current egg shortage and what to do when there are egg shortages in the country. So go ahead and check out that video. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel with that. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.